Welcome back to Amphibian Cowboy 3. Let's go. Oh my god, can I jump? Oh my god, I didn't even realize I can jump in this. Are there What happened? Oh my god, I did I, I felt I thought I went to my death. Thank goodness he's okay. Hey, Lobster Cop, I'm here to help solve the mystery. Ooh. Oh my god. Look at the flags. <laughs> All right, stretching out. Well, look at the flags. What? Also, what's going on in there? Is that is him? Is that him trying to solve the mystery? Right on time, detective. Oh, bug. And bird. That's new. I'm known. I'm known worldwide for my timeliness. Is that so? <laughs> is that so? Nope. Oh, okay. Uh, can you tell me about the case, Lobster Cop? I sure can. We've been sent here to solve the conundrum of the sheriffless county. Ooh. This town was thriving, detective. A marvel of productivity, friendship, community, and cowboys. But there was something missing. A sheriff. Uh, yeah. I was kind of leading up to that. My bad. For the sake of storytelling, can you please not interrupt? I sincerely apologize. Yeah. So anyway... I've lost where I was going with this. You said there was something missing. Right, there was something missing! Oh, A sheriff! The town had realized that for all these years, they were missing a vital ingredient for cowboy living. They contacted the supervisor, and he contacted me. And me. Yeah. Anyway, here we are. I'm gonna be honest, Lobster Cop. The supervisor really hyped this case up. Like, there are two of us here to facilitate the hiring for a management position? Detective, you read my mind. The supervisor really dropped the ball. Did you really think I'd need your help? No. Me neither. And as it turns out, I didn't need your help. Oh? The position has been filled. Oh? By me. <laughs> no, uh, maybe. I knew the perfect boy for the job. Presenting... It's himself. The new sheriff of Cowboy County. <gasps> I, I think I've seen every... What, uh, is that the ghost? You know, I honestly think that's nothing. <laughs> hey, I see you, little man. What's your name? I want to say Doug, but no, your name is not Doug. Your name is Dimples. No, that's a clown name. <laughs> your name is Doug Dimples. Ah, it's Doug Dimples! Doug Dimples. Doug Dimples. Doug Dimples. He's 3D! Doug Dimples. Doug Dimples. Are you the one behind this? Doug Dimples. Doug Dimples. Play. Sheriff Mason Mole! But... What? But that's Doug Dimples! <laughs> or is it not Doug Dimples? Wait, Doug Dimples was 2D! So that means that... In the first game... He was... That was... The <laughs> I'm confused. Mason Mole? Doug Dimples? It is alliterative. Maybe Doug Dimples was a was a uh, pseudonym. Is pseudonym the right term? Wow! Congratulations on such a speedy resolution, Lobster Cop. I'm, not, I'm gonna be honest, I thought it was gonna be Lobster Cop. Thank you! Well, I guess I'll head back to the office. No! Oh my god, I have to come up with a voice for Doug Dimple's Mason Mole? Maybe it's his twin brother. Mason Mole is Doug Dimple's twin brother. Cause he's, Doug Dimples wasn't dressed like a cowboy, and I don't think he had mole hands. Hmm. Peculiar. Um. What would would Doug Dimples sound like? Uh. No. 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 Oh, look at the wood texture. That's good. Oh my god, look at that worm! No. Hmm? No, you cannot. 
Is there something you need help with? Yes. What is it, Sheriff Mason Mole? Mystery. Uh, crime mystery. Please solve this. What's the mystery? Uh, all hats have been stolen. You're wearing a hat. Not my hat. Town hats. Can you elaborate? All the hats in the town have been stolen. Please solve this mystery as soon as possible. Do you have any leads? No. Get to work, please. Well, you heard the sheriff. Uh, okay. Um, is there really no additional information? No. But here is your notebook. I'm... I'm sorry? <laughs> here, notebook. Somebody mailed it to you. You took it. I saw your hand, your mole hand. Take it. And it was a mole hand, but he didn't have a mole hand in the last game, did he? I didn't even know it was missing. Not missing. It's right here. Can I ask a question? No, I am busy. Goodbye. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> what a legend. You know each other? Sure, but how much can you really know someone, right? What? Don't worry about it. Now, Detective, as I am the lead investigator on this case, I trust you will follow my guidance. Oh, I, I didn't know you were the lead. It's a safe assumption to make. Right, of course. So, I'll be investigating leads, but I could use your assistance. Sure, what do you need? Hmm... I'll handle the motive and the suspects, you handle the crime scene and method. Okay. It's an easier task for a rookie like you. All you'll need to find is a map of the crime scene, a tool capable of aiding criminal activity, a key that could lead us to a clue, and lastly, not to mention most importantly, a meal for the number one best detective. A uh, meal? Yes, detective, keep up. I am very I am a very hungry boy and will need sustenance to solve the mystery. I have some sandwiches I was saving for afternoon tea if you'd like them. No, I need a proper meal. I hear you loud and clear. I'll make sure to get those for you. I'll get those for you. What's wrong with the sandwich? Is it because they're like tea sandwiches? If you need to be reminded of what I want, come and see me by the graveyard. Will do. Good luck, lobster cop. People, people died? I don't need it. Good luck, detective. <laughs> okay. Oh, notebook. There's my classic notebook design. Mr. Case 3, Mystery of the Missing Hats. Can I... Oh, lobster cop. It's, it's a photo from below. Motive. There is no possible motive for... There is no possible motive for lobster cop to do this. Needs. Crime scene map. Criminal tool. Key. Meal. Notes. Hey, it's lobster cop. Number one best detective. I am very jealous. So tall. An achievement. I got an achievement. You can't see it, but I made it to town. Um, can I look at the, nope, can't look at the, uh, other cases. That's fine. That's fine. Magnifier, notebook, scooter, my, my trusty tools. Uh, what else? Anything? What about the, wasn't there something at the bot at the back of the, oh, detective. Motive. Mortem? No, I'm never bored, and I hate crime. Needs to be number one. Oh. Hmm. Notes. Always suspect yourself, but also believe in yourself. Being alive is confusing. Oh yeah, there's these stickers. Were, they, were these always there? I think the banana was. I'm not sure what the cactus was. I thought there was something. Hmm. I don't know. Ooh, that lined up with the... The drum roll lined up with the book. Wasn't there a barrel there? Where'd the barrel go? Um, what's the, what's, uh, ah, I knew there, I was like, what's the scooter tool? Woo! What the, oh, it's a snake. I got my ramp up and whoop! Yeah. Oh, right into the wall. I'm having too much fun with the scooter. 
Oh, scorpion, watch out. Whoa. Hang on. I got. Let me get a look at this scorpion. He got a little cowboy hat on. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. Let me go up here. Nope, it doesn't work. Hang on. I, they, they somehow made it so I can't go up the... I can go every up every wall except those. I don't know what it, it's it's weird. I don't feel a barrier, but ooh, wishing well. This is a big environment. I, I I should look at it in order, but it's grassy down there. That's also interesting. What happens if I try to go back to town? Hello, rattlesnake. What happens? Wait, whoa, what's this way? Nothing. Nothing's that way. This is the overlook. Oh my gosh. Jump. Jump over the thing. <laughs> okay, that doesn't work. Oh, I, yeah. Oh, I cannot leave. Not until I solve the mystery. Woo. When I, when I went this way last time, it... it okay. It, it made me... It, it started a cutscene. Hang on, I see a jumpable area. Let me try to, <sighs> what's this way? Whoa, starfish. Let's look, oh, flower. Such beautiful flowers, very spiky looking too. Yeah, true. Hello, why are there starfish in the desert? Can I keep going this way? Is that that's, that was it, just a flower in, in here? Oh, I didn't mean to press that. I was I, I left holding left shift is also um, instinct to run. So I gotta keep my finger off of it unless I wanna. Wait, this is a flower too. Ah, I see. So it was the starfish. Was the was the was the thing hidden in there? Kind of, kind of hidden. Oh, sloth, sloth man. Should I talk to him first? I feel like I should talk to people in order, but I am already here. So maybe I will. I'll, 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 um, should I, I haven't really, t I should talk to someone in this episode. So maybe I, all right, I'll talk to him first before before we before we leave here because I, I haven't really done anything except look at the cutscene hello all dressed in some 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 fancy duds you I'll call you fancy dudley or sherman for short uh does everyone in here have a cowboy accent <laughs> southern accent rather uh Wow, look at you. Well, wow, wow, look at you. Huh? Your jumper, your vacant smile. Those piercing eyes. Are you a model? I certainly am not. Maybe it's time to start modeling. Maybe. Or maybe it's time to solve a mystery. <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, I don't know what you mean. I'm a detective. Ah. Uh, Is there a problem? I don't want any trouble. I'm an outlaw, you see. My name is Sherman. Authority and I don't always see eye to eye to eye. That's three eyes. One for each one of the games. I have no authority at all. You have the authority to steal my heart. <laughs> what? Because of your good looks. Uh, it's just a little joke. Not about your looks. You look great. I, it was like you could like s steal my heart because you're so dashing. <laughs> you're too kind. Anyway, how can I help you, detective? I'm here about the missing hearts. The missing hearts? <laughs> You've stolen them. 
Sorry, just joking. Maybe not the time for my killer sense of humor. The hats, right. Mine was stolen. Do you have any ideas? Who done it? Huh, I kind of felt like uh, Monty Mole. I had to think I was like Doug Dimples. No, Monty Mole. Uh, I kind of felt like he made that up. But his hat is missing. That's what I'm here to figure out. Did you see anything suspicious over the last couple of days? I looked in a mirror. <laughs> I'm suspicious looking because I'm an outlaw. Oh, <laughs> hmm. Well, honestly, I'm a bit confused about how this new sheriff came into the picture. My fellow outlaw, Rhonda Dynamite, was working up the courage to ask to be the new sheriff. Clearly, she didn't get the courage in time because this new guy, Mason Mole, wandered in like he owns the place. You don't like him? Oh, don't get me wrong. He's okay. I just don't know why he wants to be the sheriff. Cowboy County has always been a lawless land. That's the way we like it. Everybody respects and understands each other here, so I thought it'd be better if the sheriff was one of us. Not saying he'll do a bad job or anything, but I just hope he keeps the county as kind as it ever was. Kind as it ever was. Kind as it ever was. Have you spoken to him much? He's barely said two words the whole time he's been here. I assume he's shy, so I'll give him time to settle in. But I don't know. It can be strange when someone new comes into your community. I really want to be as welcoming as possible, but I have a few concerns. You mind if I ask some questions about the case? Oh, oh, here's the questions. Sheriff D Mason Mole. <laughs> Why are you so suspicious of Mason, Mason Mole? I saw him vent an electrical... It's not like me to be suspicious, really. You know me. I do not. Not yet. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> anyway, I just don't really understand his motives. Why is he here? Hmm, I'm not sure. Obviously, I want to trust Lobster Cop's judgment, but this new guy's so quiet and shady. Do you even know what job he did before this? I have no idea. Do you know? Nope. Figures. I, he was a he was a wanderer. He was a drifter. He was adrift at sea and at woods. <laughs> Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the case? Oh, yeah, of course, right. The mine. I didn't know there was a mine. Is, it, is there uh, creepers? <laughs> oh, this is the mine. Any reason you're hanging out by the mines? Well, yeah. I heard there's gold in there. Wow. I really like gold. I don't mean to sound insensitive, but I want to ask. Is it a thing for sloths to like gold? What? Why do you ask? My friend Martin is a sloth and also loves gold. He made a crown out of it. Oh, that's right. Martin was a sloth. I forgot. Sounds heavy. Yeah. Well, I haven't really thought about it before, but yes, I think sloths do like gold. But then again, who doesn't? I find it doesn't suit my complexion. I think, well, maybe just because you associate gold with hats, maybe that's why you think that? I think anything would suit your complexion. But anyway, I've been trying to get into the mine, but it's all blocked up. Dang, have you tried exploding it with dynamite? What? No, that sounds really dangerous. How did they, did they make dynamite in the first game? How did they, I don't remember how he did that. I was thinking more along the lines of a pickaxe. Oh, that would probably be better, yeah. Do you have one? I can trade you for a, a shovel. I'll think about it. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, I, I guess that's it, unless there's something else about Sheriff Mason Mole. Maybe that will be later. Or, or does he have something else? Nope, that, that was it. Well... Uh, next time on Frog Detective Trace, we're going to trace Frog Detective. Oh, I didn't get to finish. Oh. oh, Sherman. There he is. Motive. I don't know. I found it difficult to pay attention. Those eyes. Oh. Needs a pickaxe to break into the mine. Notes. 
Sherman, you make me blush. So funny, so cool. No, I refuse to be charmed. This is a suspect. I saw him vent in electrical. Um, what's this? Okay, uh, oh, I almost tried to crouch. And I would have activated the scooter. Um, I guess we'll, we'll, we gotta keep an eye out for a pickaxe. An eye out. Wink. Um, and we will talk to another suspect next time on Frog Detective 3. Goodbye. Thank you.